And, uh, ah, ah, I promise this. I promise this. Okay. New segment. I, 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 I can't believe I, I almost forgot the new segment. This is very, um, I'm, 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 I'm very upset about this. Very upset about this. Wait there. New segment. Let's get the banner on. I, um, I came up with a sweet theory on Yoda's species name in the Mandalorian going forward. And um, you guys can join in in the comments if you need, if you've got your own. But this is a new segment that I'm calling Your Mandalorian Theory Sucks. Look at that graphic! <laughs> Entertaining myself. Anyway, so this is what I think. This is my theory, you guys. Is we will never find out. I think it's a very bad idea that we find out the uh, the Yoda's species name because I just don't think it's going to live up to... Like, Yoda is a dumb word, but because we were introduced to it in, you know, 1980 and it had this sweet movie around it, we, you know, we don't... You know, we buy it. Jedi, I think, is one of the greatest made-up words of all time. All words made up, but... That's one of the best. I feel like, you know, the Gregario or the Zabos or whatever, the Wurtz that's on my keyboard or the Q, the Q Wurtz, the, the, the Yoda, he's a Q Wurt. Anything like that, it's, it's not going to live up to the expectation of, of 40 years of wondering. So my theory is that, the Yoda species name, millennia ago, they had a species name, maybe a thousand years. But then people were, uh, let's just call them the, the Qwerts. Let's call them the Qwerts. So the Qwerts were known as the Qwerts. They lived on planet Qwert, great time. Then there, from what I've, I've, I've seen hinted in the Mandalorian interviews and stuff, that all Yoda, all Yodas are force sensitive. They're the most force sensitive um, species in the galaxy. And so people began searching them out and hunting them to capture them, to harness the power, the force power, the Ashla, whatever, of the Qwerts. So the Qwerts had to go into hiding, much like the Mandalorians. Maybe their planet was destroyed or just because it was just ransacked, people looking for other keywords. So then they decide to never speak the word keyword ever again. So they never refer to themselves. They they know it. A keyword knows he's a keyword, but he's it, it is banned. Like uh, a mother tells him that information. Oh, they could just force it across. Bow wow 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 keyword keyword keyword. But at the same time. They say, don't tell anyone else because it's a keyword secret and um, we can't get, you know, it, it helped It helped them be able to be tracked down because they had a name. Something hasn't got a name. It is um, harder to track down. Trust me, I grew up in a small town and my name was Steel. Now, all the Mikes, they're getting away with whatever they want. Oh, Mike, this guy Mike was at a party and he did this or whatever, you know, he spilled a drink. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it might be the mic, you know, it might not be. But when Steele's at the party and he steals a drink, he spills a drink, everyone knows about it. Oh, that's the only one steal. So you get rid of your name. You can slide under that radar. So I think we will never get the Yoda species name, but we will get that story. I'm basing this on something that I made up this morning. So what do you think? Can we go with the, the Q, let's call it the Q-word theory or does on this side, your the Mandalorian theory sucks. Let's check the chat. Let's check the chat. Baby Yoda is a pickle, just like Snoke. Thank you, Braxton. Um, 
What? Why are you saying, oh no, Emily? What's that in relation to? Very sensitive about Emily's... Um... Emily Lynn says, I mean, it would just be a name. But don't you think my story, like my little backstory in Q-word history? M Flash. All right. Come on. He says, I think that's a good call. Uh, I think Mando is going to get some information about the species that we know is not correct. Ooh. He's going to get Ryan Johnson. He's in, they're nobodies. They're everybody's. Um, Tracy Moon says, not really helping. Prince got rid of his name. Then he eventually called himself the Purple Yoda from Min uh, Soda. That's, that's, that's good. Um, all righty. Ah, Catherine Neen says, so like Rumpelstiltskin, the power is in his name. Hey, I can't vouch for this Rumble Stiltskin character. Ah, the oh no, Emily said, was in preparation for hearing whatever it was going to be. All right, so before we wrap it up, Emily, what is your, what's your response? What's your verdict? Hey? This thing, like the the chat is like 20 seconds behind like me talking, so I have to wait. Come on, Emily. Type, 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 type. M Flash says, I think Lucasfilm is too scared to screw that one up. That they should be. They should be. Uh Braxton says Yoda's first name is Minch. The Minch. It's fantastic. Where is Emily Lind? Very excited about this. Oh, she says, I'm trying to think of a way to put it nicely. We well, didn't think long enough. You didn't think long enough. Jim Grote says, would be cool if the species name included the letters LGBTQ just to hear the shrieking. Oh, man. They all... <laughs> you don't even have to. You don't even have to. Ah, oh, and Around the Galaxy's here. That's so cool. Saying I rock. Kyle Delaney says they should be known as yogurts. Um, do the Yoda last names have to start with a Y? Says Braxton. I don't know. I've, I've never heard any of their last names. Oh, Emily has posted. I'm less convinced that it would actually offer the species any protection, but I would, wouldn't be surprised if we never hear the name. Of course it would add protection. Man. They didn't even change Luke Skywalker's name. They didn't care. But I'm, I'm better. I'm more diligent than Yoda and Ben Kenobi. Change the name, you guys. Um, yeah, and if you're watching on delay, give us a comment down below. I will try to uh, answer them all. And it also, all this sort of interaction gets it in more people's feeds. More people can watch it and um, I can keep this going every day of the week. Hey, you guys, thanks for watching. If you have any thoughts on the clip, drop us a comment below and I'll be sure to hit you back. And if you want to hear the full episode that this clip came from, check out our Hyper Chats. The link for this episode will be popping up on the screen pretty soon, as well as the latest episode, which we record Monday to Friday live. All the times are below on the ticker. Hit subscribe, get involved, and may that force be with you.